He said nearly 350 weapons. Now, I've not sat there and counted how many weapons there have been in previous Call of Duties, but just off of the top of my head, I can think that there's been no more of at least 150 at maximum. Like, you can go back and check it yourself, but there has been no more than 150 weapons in any of the last Call of Duties. Now, for him to say that there's nearly 350 in this Call of Duty is... It's beyond, it blows my mind. That means if there's 10 different types of classes that you can use, you know, like assault rifle, SMG, um, pistols, including all the secondaries, the launchers, everything, if you include all the primary weapons and all the secondary weapons and say that there's 10 different classes for all of them, then that's saying that each one of them is going to have nearly 35 weapons in each. That's 35 assault rifles, 35 SMGs, 35 snipers. That is mental. 35 different variants on one class of gun. I can't even begin to imagine how epic that's going to be. It's going to take ages to like test every single gun and see which one's your best because literally the second you go off one weapon, there's 349 weapons that you could have used to replace it. So um, it's going to be mental to see. I'm sure there's going to be one or two favourites within them that people will tend to lean towards because they'll be more overpowered or more easy to use or less recoil or whatever. Of course we've now got the new energy weaponry which is uh, like mixing things up, adding a whole new class into the into the